I have this uh, Philips LED. It's a 800 lumen, 60 watt equivalent. Uses 9.5 watts. It's a warm glow LED, and what's interesting about it is it it uh, color temperature ranges from 2700K to 2200, depending on the level of the dimmer, um, how how low you set your dimmer. Um, and I wanted to open it up and see what is causing that um, and how they actually accomplish that. My hunch is they used two LEDs of different color temperatures and when you dim it, um, it turns off or dims the higher com color temperature LED. Um, but we'll, we'll open it up and see what makes it tick. Before I open it up, I figured I'd demonstrate how it works. Um, I have this pipe lamp I made with this fixture. Put this Phillips warm glow in it. And I don't know how well this is going to show up, but when you first turn it on, the full brightness, it's at 27K, and as you dim it, it gets warmer and warmer and warmer. Um, down to that 22k, 2200k, um, and it it gives a really nice um, ambience effect. When you normally dim LEDs, the the color temperature seems to get kind of bluish as it dims down, and um, this really helps it. I would like it actually to be a little warmer, honestly, but it's one of the only ones on the market that does it, so I can't complain. I really do wonder what the color rendering index is though once you drop down to 2200K. Um, if it's if it's still in the 80s like it is at full brightness. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut around this edge here between um, the lens and this plastic. I think this is thermal plastic but I'm not totally sure. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So I'll take this upstairs and we'll take a better look. So what we have here is um, there's a PCB here that's thermal pasted to aluminum and then it looks like there's actually an, an outer ring. Let's see if I can get this closer. It looks like there's an actually uh, a whole shield of aluminum around this as a heat sink. Um, and this PCB is thermally bonded to a piece of aluminum under it. Um, maybe I can rip that open more later, but for now let's focus on the LEDs. Um, there's a ring of LEDs and then there's this diffuser here. So let's take off this diffuser so we can get a better look at the LEDs. get a look at that. There's actually different size LEDs which is really interesting to me. I'm curious what those are going to end up being. There's a lot of dust. I really probably should have worn a mask while doing that. Let me wipe this off and get a better shot. So it looks like um, they use resistors. These are probably current limiting resistors and then um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious Looks like it, you, it's a pattern of two LEDs and a small LED, then two LEDs and a small LED. So I'm curious which one's going to be the higher color temperatures and which one's going to be the lower. Uh, we'll just have to fire it up and see. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we have this uh, 
pipe lamp fixture I made here with the dimmer. So let's screw this in and fire it up. Um, see if the lens will, the camera will correct. Um, there are only a few of the LEDs lighting up, the smaller ones. Um, let me see if I can adjust the exposure or something to get this in shot. Okay, I grabbed an ND filter from my camera bag so we can see this better when I hold this over the LEDs. So the, the small LEDs are what light up first. And those must be the warmer color temperature LEDs. And as I bring the, the dimmer up, the brightness up, it starts to get um, overexposed for you to see it. But uh, all the LEDs start to kick on. So these sets of two LEDs here, the larger two LEDs all the way around, they come on together um, when the dimmer comes up. You can see that start to kick on right about there. Right there they start to kick on. Um, and even at full brightness you can't see this because the exposure it's overexposed but all the LEDs are on at full brightness which leads me to believe that these these larger LEDs are probably a little bit over 2700 maybe they're 3000 um, and these smaller LEDs in combination with the larger LEDs give you that 2700K. Um, either way, it's a really it's a really neat idea and I, I haven't seen any other manufacturers do it in the mainstream market where you can buy at the big box stores. Um, I have seen online a few other companies do it but they're special order. So maybe I'll rip this thing down a little more so we can see the thermal characteristics of it and the power supply. So I cut back another layer of this plastic um, and I really like this design. What they did is there's aluminum case all the way around the bulb. So I cut open the can of the bulb here, the main heat sink area. I actually did take a multimeter and try to um, check the continuity between here and here. They're, these are not tied together electrically um, or thermally because they're not bonded. So. Uh, this can acts as the heat sink and this um, PCB with the LEDs on it kind of sits into this groove of this can here. Uh, and then the power supply is in here and it looks like they have a FET or something that maybe does the pulse width modulation of the LEDs and that's thermally bonded to this can too. Um, and I was looking if there's a chip on here, I was wondering how they actually sense the um, the dimmer waveform, but it, it's probably all done in analog, um, it looks like, just from the components. I'll take some some pictures of the board, um, I'll pull it out of this, this bulb socket and take some high resolution pictures and post it in the video so you can see.